Wow. So good. I literally can't form a sentence I'm that hungry. A little bit extra carb, don't mind if I do. Mm, smells so good. Good morning guys. So today I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. Or actually maybe a what I eat in a weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I actually wasn't gonna have breakfast today, which is unlike me, but I didn't wake up too hungry, but the hunger is kicking in. And of course, let's go to the gym. Got the dogs out, because my socks are drying on the aero, which is downstairs, so I'm gonna put them on in a bit. Um, I have more than one pair of socks, by the way. It's just, like, I don't like wearing new socks when I'm going to the gym, so <laughs> I've got two old socks, two old white socks that I've washed. I'm gonna put them on. Anyway, breakfast, same as usual, is my protein oats. So let's get this show on the road. I hate filming this kitchen because the lighting is so bad. It's just so dark and like, it's against trees. So you just don't get any sunlight in at all. I'm back on my OG protein oats and this is the hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut flavour by Muscle Moose. Usually I add bananas in but I love bananas when they're really ripe and sweet. And the bananas I have right now just aren't there yet at all. For ages I was on a salted caramel hike and honestly I really really enjoyed it. And I'm thinking do I actually prefer the salted caramel to the chocolate hazelnut. This just isn't as sweet as I remember it. I don't even like a sweet breakfast. If I go out for like brunch I prefer getting like savoury pancakes um, or just any savoury option. But I do love my oats breakfast. Literally my protein oats are the only sweet breakfast I'd eat. And it's not even like sweet it's just flavoured. I'm going to stop filming now because I need to tidy up a bit. Hello, so it is about 22. Isha and I are going to go for some lunch. And honestly, I am so proud of us because it's a day that I'm vlogging and we've not cancelled plans. In the past, it's always coincidental that when I am vlogging, I'm like, I'm going to see Isha. Plans fall through, but today is a good day. I'm going for a late lunch. We're going to Bendingo Lounge in Beeston. So glad I had breakfast because this is a late lunch, like I said. But yeah, around like 20 past 12, I have to go out of the shower. I was like, whew. So I had a protein bar to keep me going, but I didn't film that. So my choice was either a protein bar and apple. So I went for the less nutritious, more highly processed option of the protein bar. I just thought if I had the apple, it's not actually what I want. So I'm not gonna be satisfied. I'm gonna end up eating the protein bar anyway afterwards. So went for the PB. Before that, I went to B&M after the gym. My Roman Empire is seriously walking around B&M like, I can do it for ages, oh my gosh. I'm currently trying to redo my room. Just like, you know, add a bit of je ne sais quoi. But I've not really got like a vibe or a vision for it. I'll show you a couple of bits I got and then I'm gonna have to get on my Zoom and leave because yeah, I need to drive to Isha's. Have I already said Isha and I are living together next year? Can't remember. Anyway, stuff I bought from B&M. Set of two pillowcases. I'm just gonna replace the two gray ones on my bed. And then this, my middle pillowcase. Super cute. And I also got a wax melt holder, wax holder. I don't know what it's called, but you know what it is. Oil burner. Wait, would this work the same? I guess we'll find out. And then I got some tea lights. Um, That's everything. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to bounce. So I will see you guys at Vendingo Lounge. Let's make a hot chocolate. You actually can't even see it. One sec. I just love when it's all bubbly like this. That is how you hot chocolate. Mm. So good. Every time you walk away, I'll turn away. You take a piece of me with you now. So we just got back from going out with Isha. It's 25 past five. Me and that girl can talk. You'd think we never saw each other. To be fair, we actually like departed ways about half four. But I went to Sainsbury's, got myself a bit of halo top and then I got some petrol and then I also went to B&M to get a lighter 
for my candles and also what I need to do is I want to get all the wax out of my old candles it's my favourite candle ever, it smells so good so I got a wax burner, wax melt, whatever it's called before oil burner, whatever you want to name it anyway this isn't a vlog, I was about to tell you what I'm doing but you don't care for lunch at um, Bendingo Lounge, I really enjoy the vibes, it's so cosy in there I'll definitely be going back yeah so for lunch I got a flatbread and then I got some sweet potato fries on the side a little bit extra carb, don't mind if I do. For tea tonight, I'm actually not that hungry at the moment and honestly I can't be bothered to cook, but I was gonna make jerk chicken, rice and peas. Stay tuned to find out if I can be bothered to cook or not. If not, I'm just gonna have a toasty. <laughs> I was gaslighting myself into thinking I'm not hungry because I couldn't be bothered to cook, but I can feel my appetite brewing and I know that in another hour or so I will be ravenous. So let's get this show on the road. I love this dish. The thing that takes longest is actually seasoning the chicken. So this is everything that I use. Jamaicans look away because this is not authentic. It's just the things that I've found works well together. I'm, I'm missing something. So jerk seasoning essential for jerk chicken ground pimento which is just like ground allspice like finely grated i don't know it's just it's allspice i usually just use thyme but i'm running out so i'm using mixed herbs coriander garlic and i might also put some fresh garlic in the chicken as well i put fresh garlic and the spring onions when i'm making the rice to add more flavor Salt, chilli powder, onion granules, and browning, maggi and some lime juice. Time to get our hands dirty. My chicken was frozen, like it was in the freezer. I think, I think it'll be alright. She's still a bit frozen, but we'll make it work. In the middle of the night, watch the stars from different places. This literally smells so good already and the chicken isn't even cooked. When it comes to cooking, I'm not half big headed, am I? I've only ever had authentic jerk chicken rice and peas once that was recently actually it was around december time i was at home my family and i went to cargo market in sulfur keys yeah and that was that was good and the dumplings oh i love fried jamaican dumplings the way i'm going to make this today is i'm going to do as a one pot dish it does take longer this way but I find that like when you add the rice to the pan that the chicken was cooked in and all the chicken juice is still there it just adds so much flavour and it's so good. I usually make this with plantain and I have got some um, plantain in my freezer. I know Jamaicans say plantain but I'm Nigerian but I just can't bother waiting for that to cook in the air fryer. So no plantain tonight. happy I did start cooking when I did because I am bloody starving now. It's quarter to eight so it's well past my tea time. Let's try this. Gonna add some more Maggi because I love Maggi. Mm, smells so good. Two controversial things I'm doing. One, I'm eating with a spoon and two, I'm eating little spoon. Everything just always tastes better little spoon. It just, it lasts longer. Mmm. So good. I'm in my room. I always say I'm going to stop eating in my room, but let me reel myself. That's never going to happen. <laughs> I like to eat my room just because one, I can fill you in on things, and two, I can watch some Netflix. I started watching Gossip Girl again yesterday. Um, I, I only finished it like three weeks ago, I want to say, but I just really love season one. I was so disappointed with the ending. I really didn't like it at all. I'm like, now I'm watching season one again, which is from the first episode. There's so many clues who Gossip Girl is. And also, Gossip Girl, her voice changes. Like, it's very different in the first episode. It's not really what I can actually eat of this broccoli. In the first episode, she doesn't say, XOXO, Gossip Girl. She just ends it as Gossip Girl. I've not even tried any of the chicken yet. Jerk chicken works so much better with bone on and skin on chicken. But, I like to be a lean queen, so. So I use chicken breast and also it's so much easier to meal prep it with chicken breast. Especially like a later date when I'm eating like from a tub instead of a plate. Just makes it easier to scoop up the diced pieces. 
Previously on Gilmore Girls, we're having drinks in the pool house. This is your first talk to out, and I get to Good morning, I am ravenous. Oh my gosh, it's 10 to 10, Sunday school time. Um, and, and I haven't eaten yet because I wanna make waffles. But when I got out of bed, it was like eight. I just stayed in bed for a bit after I woke up because I've got no exams, nothing to really rush about for. So I make the mostly slow mornings. So yeah, um, but I was like, it's not really acceptable to eat waffles at eight in the morning. Maybe it is, but I just don't want to. I got some steps in on my walking pad, did some laundry, had a shower and got ready and now it's time to make some waffles. I'm not in my Udi because I want to film a TikTok as I'm making these waffles. I'm gonna have my Rufus Humphrey moment. So yeah, I thought I'd wear something proper for that. I literally can't form a sentence I'm that hungry. So let's get cooking. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star. To the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we turn the clocks back, a couple. filming that was a very chaotic experience, which I did not enjoy at all. But I'm gonna eat now. Let me show you the final product. I'm also making a TikTok, so I'm gonna do my first bite on there. Here she is. <laughs> I burnt my bacon. The oven is actually still on, which isn't good. Right, let me fill you in on what happened with that entire experience. So my little tripod that had my phone on was broken. I don't know how that happened or when that happened because I used last night and it was literally fine. And then this tripod, which I literally started using on yesterday. So I got it earlier in the week, but only first used it yesterday. This broke as well, but I managed to fix it. But I'm not sure that I like it that much. I burnt my bacon. The waffle batter is too thick. It was a bit dry. My egg is overcooked. I want it a bit runny in the middle. Just all together an unslaveful experience. And I just put it in the microwave then to heat up a bit. But it's just done more damage. It's so sick and twisted. I literally need a chainsaw to cut through this. So I really wanted to make this because one, I've not made waffles in ages. And two, I used to always make myself a nice brunch at least one day on the weekend. And I stopped doing that, I don't know why. So I wanna try and start it again, but hopefully going forward, I'll have a more pleasant experience than today. To make things worse, I don't even like raw spring onion, so I don't know why I put any on there. I need more, um, Syrup, fuck me, sandpaper. All done, and I rate that a five, maybe a six, no, a five out of ten. And it's lost points because of the trauma and also because it was dry. But typical me, I ate it all. I tried to recreate like a brunch I had literally last Sunday at a local brunch spot um, back at home in Manchester. And I think if I didn't burn the bacon, if the batter wasn't too thick, if the eggs, um, weren't overdone so basically if every component of it didn't go wrong it could have been a 10 out of 10 <laughs> i will catch you guys at lunch just woken up from a nap i've not had a nap in ages actually i know in like every vlog i always have a nap but i've actually had one in ages still got my black top on underneath but just put this on because it's really cold and i'm gonna have some lunch now i was gonna have a chicken salad sandwich because it's cold i want something warm so i think i'm just gonna go for ham and cheese toasty and then i'm gonna make a side salad on the side a side salad on the side i'm gonna make a side salad to go with just because i'm scared when i get like scurvy or something because like i have not been eating enough fruit and veg i know i've not i go through phases where i absolutely love my fruit and literally every single day i'm having an apple but then i go through times where i'm just not feeling any fruit or veg so and it's one of those times so yeah i'm gonna have a little side salad with my ham and cheese toasty i'm not sure how well i'm gonna film this because like i said something funky is going on with my tripod but i will try my best this actually looks pretty good so 
a very basic ham and cheese toasty, but then salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, crispy onions, and lettuce. I was gonna add some feta and some olives, but I wasn't really feeling it. See if this will stay. I couldn't film anything because my camera wasn't staying. Um, on my salad, I also added some vinaigrette. I don't like a bland salad. I mean, who does? Let's give the salad a taste. Mm. Those crispy onions really do add a lot. This has been so nice with olives and the feta. Mm. Let's test the cheese pull on this. It has been sitting out for a while. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. protein bars are my favorite ever but yesterday i noticed that the box had changed and they changed the recipe and they are horrible like no that is actually horrible oh my god and i bought two boxes as well i am not happy that is disgusting it's not even like there's no taste to it and it's got this horrible chewy consistency oh that is minging I literally can't eat that it's disgusting that is so sad because they were literally my favorite protein bars i have been looking for an excuse to stop eating them because they're so processed and yeah there's my excuse what a sad end to a beautiful tale sigh guys i don't think i've said but i've got my first night shift tonight <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> Um, I'm actually dreading it. It's currently half six. I need to leave in about half an hour because I'm picking up my friend on the way. And then we're going to go do big girl things in the hospital at night. It's going to be interesting to see how the hospital works at night. Because for placement, we're only ever in during the day. So yeah, I expect it to be very different. I reckon the wards will be quiet, but I'm on the MAU, so the medical assessment unit. Um, or am I on the SAU? I'm not too sure. I'll find out now. I'm just gonna use this as an opportunity to get a lot of um, clinical skills done. I wanna do some arterial blood gases. Everyone on my current ward probably thinks I'm obsessed with we because I'm always asking to do urine dipsticks. It's just because on my GP attachment, I did some, but I never got them signed off and it's such an easy thing to get signed off. But it's like, unless you ask for them, you aren't gonna find any. A lot of the jobs like that, the nurses will just do it because they're used to doing it. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna have my tea. Usually I'll have a dessert, but then other than that, I won't really eat in the evening. This shift is 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. I'm not staying that long, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let me not even pretend. But I think I will take a breakfast bar and maybe some cheese crackers in case I get peckish throughout the night. I don't know. And I'm gonna heat up my tea and then I'm going to find out where I am, find out where I'm gonna park because parking for out of hours is different to during the day. Ready for my night shift. I'll be taking this off before I leave. Just control my edges. Oh, my tripod is broken. So annoying because I literally can't feel anything. I'm not even hungry right now, but if I don't eat now, I'm not sure when I'm gonna eat. They said that we don't get breaks. It's just when times are quiet, but I can't bother taking this out of me anyway. So just gonna heat it up and eat it now. I also think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my what I eat in a weekend. Let me know if I should do more videos like this. Um, or should I just stick to my normal vlogs? You let me know if it's what you want to watch. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next vid. <laughs>